what is going on? Black Bigelow, Bell Gigolo today. And I'm driving on Interstate 49 North in Fayetteville, Arkansas. I'm on my way up to the Kansas City area. And I happen to be in the same city where YouTuber Boogie2988 lives. If you don't know who he is, uh, he is a douchebag YouTuber who whines about his life, his mental issues, and is severely overweight. I don't like this guy just because I think he is a just a complete and utter whiny cuck boy. I don't think he is interesting whatsoever. He only became popular on YouTube because he was morbidly obese and he had this stupid character that people thought was funny and it just was completely and utterly sad uh, he's often talked about his life before about having an alcoholic father who didn't show him any attention and his mom was mean to him so he took all of that and you know developed an eating problem blah 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 had a YouTube channel who cares who cares so he got arrested just the other day that's his booking photo right there some piece of shit guy went to his house and started banging on his door telling him to come out and on the video boogie comes out with a gun and fires a warning shot in the air now that was a stupid move on boogie's part he should have just went ahead and called the police i think whoever that guy was that went to his house should be kicked right in the face with a pair of army boots on. Yeah, he's just a douchebag troll losing scumbag. Even though I don't like Boogie2988 and I think he's the worst YouTuber of all time, I just think he sucks. I don't know. You should never ever go to anybody's house doing stupid things like that because if Boogie would have shot him, that guy would have deserved to get shot. So I'm definitely on Boogie's side in this situation. I don't think he should have got arrested. I don't think he did. I mean, technically, when it comes to the law, maybe he did something wrong, but just me looking at it and him firing a warning shot, he didn't do anything wrong. He was defending his home. He was defending his home from some losing sack of garbage. I don't know who that guy is. I don't know if he's a YouTuber. I didn't even bother to look him up. I don't care. But... To go to somebody's house, that's off limits. It's one thing, if you want to troll somebody and talk crap about them and make videos about them, yeah, go ahead and do that. But when you're going to somebody's house, regardless, this this guy, he doesn't have, Boogie doesn't have a family. I mean, look at him. Would you want to start a family with that guy? Of course not. Uh, this guy is, you know, Boogie is just, you know, He's almost like the leader of the incels on YouTube, you know, just straight up. This guy is he's just one. I, I've only watched two videos of him ever, and I've seen enough to know that he is a complete weirdo. Um, I, I'm going to say that he's not a bad guy. He doesn't come across as an a-hole. I mean, people have made videos about him being, uh, quote unquote, not a nice person. Who cares? You don't need to be nice on YouTube all the time. You could be an asshole every one once in a while. You can have a bad day. That's fine. I just don't care for him because I just don't like whiners. They make me sick, really. They really, really do. And I think he's an ultimate whiner. But do not go to that guy's house. Don't harass him. If you don't like him, don't watch his videos. Dumps him down. Even make mean comments or mean videos about him but leave him the fuck alone don't mess with that guy's house because anybody that goes to his house next time yeah if you're gonna go trying to troll him yeah you deserve to get shot that's what happens when you go on somebody's property he doesn't know that that guy whoever the douchebag was that went to his house look he doesn't know that he had, didn't have a gun he doesn't know that he doesn't have a knife he's defending himself and then all you toxic loser trolls on here you know, you share the video, they, you know, it's all over the place because he's a big YouTuber. And then he gets arrested for defending himself. Yeah, that's a bunch of bullshit as far as I'm concerned. 
Anyways, just want to give my quick opinion on it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got to get off the freeway. I'm going to Boogie's house. Peace out.